Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a girl is looking for a simp to give her a free apartment. Hi, I'm interested in the rats. You said they're friendly, right? My four-year-old daughter really wants one. Yeah, they're super friendly. Let me know when we can meet. They do best in groups, so I recommend getting two or three. Okay, that's fine, but I don't have any money, so give them to me for free. Unfortunately, I can't do that. These are pet rats, and I want to make sure they'll be safe, so I charge a $5 rehoming fee per rat. F you! Thank you for ruining my daughter's birthday! I hope your rats all get eaten by snakes! Man, if $5 is too much to acquire the pet, then how do you expect to buy a cage for them, buy food for them, buy toys for them? What? Hey, I hope this isn't a problem, but I got your phone number from a mutual friend, blank, and he said it was okay to message you about making something. It's fine. What are you looking for? He said you've done, like, cornhole boards. Yeah, I've done some. They're posted on my Facebook page. I need a set. How soon can you make them? Well, I would need to go get materials, so I couldn't even start before next weekend, and then it depends on what you want. I want cornhole boards. Yeah, but do you want them painted in some way? Oh, uh, yeah, like University of Texas themed maybe, or one University of Texas themed and one Bama themed. And let me just say real quick that I don't watch football, I don't care about football, so it's possible that I'm not pronouncing Bama correctly, and it's possible that UT stands for, like, University of Tennessee, and like, I don't know, I, I don't care, I really don't care, I don't watch football. So if, if I'm doing something wrong here, just please understand that I just don't care. Okay, no problem. Just pick whichever you want and I can do that. University of Texas and Bama since me and my boyfriend like different teams. That won't be a problem. Just send me a picture of what you'd like them to look like. Well, just make them University of Texas themed and Bama themed. Okay, but there's different ways to do that. I'm not sure I can do an elephant, but I can do an A for sure. Well, do the University of Texas logo like on your page and just try to do Bama similarly. Yeah, that'll be easy enough. It'll be about two weeks minimum because I'm on overtime for work. Isn't this your work? No, this is a hobby. Okay, I didn't know since you had a business page. No problem, it's just a good way to show work. How much for the boards? Around $160. $160? What? Hand painted and sealed? Yeah, about $160. What about bags? I don't make bags, I never have, but I've heard they're not hard to do. So $160 and no bags? Yeah, is that an issue? No, it's, well, it's just that Blank said that you charged him less. I don't remember, but if I did, it's likely because I've known him for 20 years and it was a gift to his dad if I'm thinking right. That's not exactly fair, is it? Fair? That I charged a close friend less? I can only do 160 if you make the bags. Well, I don't make bags, so sorry, but lots of people make boards. Okay, well, can you work with me on the price then? What were you thinking for the price? Well, is 160 your best price? Like, is that your pretty girl price? <laughs> what? I just have a normal price. Well, you have a friend price, so you have other prices too. Even on my friend price, I made a little profit, but you and I are not friends, so what I did for my friends isn't your concern. But we have mutual friends. Good luck with your shopping. I can't <laughs> I can't believe this girl tried to get a pretty girl discount over text. Over text! Text, you guys. Well, I know that you can't see me, so that you can't see that I'm actually pretty, and I also said that I have a boyfriend, so obviously nothing can ever happen between us, but since I'm pretty, and I promise I really am pretty, couldn't you charge me less? I posted a trampoline on here the other day and on Facebook. It was free to collect, and I had many requests. The first person who contacted me, I had to wait for a reply for 30 minutes, which I thought was fair, but then I got no reply until 2.30pm the next day. I gave away the trampoline to the next person who requested it because she wasn't replying. Yesterday, she replied saying that I had let her daughter down because she was going to give her the trampoline for her Christmas because she's disabled. She said that I ruined her Christmas and she was not pleasant in her messages. Anyway, I blocked her because the trampolines found a new home. I can't believe the cheek on some people. How long do they expect you to wait for a reply? And I don't know how I ruined her Christmas because if I didn't list the item, she wouldn't have had the trampoline anyway. 
Sorry for the rant. Some people make me so mad. Then they blame you when you're doing them the favor. <laughs> Down in the comments, Orc8 points out exactly what I was thinking. If the child is really disabled and desperately wanted a trampoline for Christmas, then it's her mother that ruined her child's Christmas by not responding to your text ahead of others. Looking... <laughs> oh man, this post. Looking for a simp to provide accommodation in London. I'm a female in her 20s looking for free accommodation in London provided by a simp. I'm not offering anything in return. The only thing you will get is living together in the same property as me and being able to serve me and fulfill whatever demands I might have. Get in touch with exact details about yourself and what you're offering to be considered. Responses with your demands or requests will be ignored because you clearly cannot read that this is about serving me, not you. I couldn't care less about what you want or need. You know, this post seems absurd, but 2021 is kind of the year of the simp, so I wouldn't be surprised if she actually got an offer. Also, some people in the comments are pointing out that maybe this is like a financial domination kink, which exists. It's like a thing where people like control your money and you have to spend money on them and it's just like a way to dominate their bank account, essentially. But I don't really understand why you would need some girl off of Craigslist to do this for you because the IRS does this to me every damn month. On this next post, Starbucks is offering free coffee to veterans and active duty military members. And beneath that post, we get comments like this one. Does this include the boyfriends and girlfriends of those who are active in the military? Starbucks replies, Hi Annie, this offer is only valid for veterans, military service members, and military spouses. And then another girl replies, And if my vet doesn't drink hot coffee, y'all should offer a little more variety for those who served our country and fought for our freedom to make and buy Starbucks. Hey man, I noticed you've been losing a ton of weight and been getting pretty fit now. Thanks, dude. Just trying to be more conscious of what I eat and dedicating more time to the gym. Would you be able to train me and give me your diet plan? Yeah, no problem. I really don't have a diet plan. I'm just more aware of when I put junk into my body. I can be free to train you after work, so any weekdays after 5. I'm not free in the afternoon. Would you be able to take me during the workday to train me? No can do. What about weekends? I can show you some pointers that you can carry out on your weekday workouts. I don't have a gym membership yet. I was hoping you can just guest me at the gym until I get one. I can guest you when I'm available, but it doesn't look like our schedules match up well. I honestly think that if you can get your own membership, it can help to motivate you to go solo. I don't want to pay 10 to 20 bucks a month right now. Never mind, I'll ask someone else to help me. Hmm, sounds like he doesn't really want help. Sounds like he just wants a free gym membership. Hey, do you do video edits? I do. What kind of edit do you need? I just need you to stitch some clips together, add some music and some text as well. Sure thing, I'd be happy to do that for you. What's the approximate length? About 10 minutes. I also need it before 2. Do you think you could do that? As in 2 p.m. or 2 a.m.? 2 p.m. today. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on, they're talking at 1.18 p.m. So the turnaround time on this is 40 minutes. I'm out on a walk right now, but I can run back home and start work on it in 5 minutes. I might have it done by 2 if I rush, but keep in mind it'll cost extra. Okay, nice, thank you. How much is it? 20 euros. Are you kidding me? No! I'm home now, and this price is only 5 euros more than my normal price. 20 euros for less than 1 hour's work is actually insane. You're exploiting me right now. I'm charging more because this is extremely short notice. Dude, do you understand how much I need this? I'm legit gonna get fired if I don't get this done. Okay, here's the video. Okay, I'll get started on it, if you agree to my price. You are literally holding me ransom right now. You're sick in the head if you think this is funny. It's entirely up to you if you want to pay the 20 euros or not. Okay, I'll pay you the money. Just get it done. Just add some upbeat music and add a title of Q3 Report 2021. Okay, here's the video. My PayPal is blank. Nice one, although I don't feel like paying. <laughs> Fine by me. F you! Why did you lock the file, you little B-word? F you! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you didn't feel like paying. Even if you change your mind, your payments will be refunded. 
No, F off. Don't do this. Just unlock the file, please. And <laughs> she sent this message at 1.59 p.m. And then at 2 p.m., OP replies, I don't really feel like it. What's so funny about this post is that down in the comments, OP points out that he originally sent the file unlocked. However, instead of just downloading the file, this woman decided to gloat to him about how she wasn't going to pay, which gave him the opportunity to go lock the file. So if she had just downloaded it instead of being a jerk, then she would have won. But no, she just had to gloat. Are there any strong local kids that need some community service hours and want a good workout? You must not be allergic to hay. Experience unloading hay off a wagon into a loft is a bonus. Bales are approximately 60 pounds. If no one's interested in it for community service hours, I'm just looking for someone to do it at my mom's barn at a low rate and sooner than later. Oh man, and then OP posts a picture of what must be, I don't know, probably a hundred individual bales of hay. And I've never, I've never baled hay in my life. I didn't know they were 60 pounds, but this looks like torture. This looks like absolute torture. How do they even get bales of hay to the top of a barn? Do they throw? I'm not a farmer. I don't know how this works. Do they throw 60 pound bales of hay up like a, like a story into the top of the barn? That can't be right. Do they carry them up, like haul them up, climb the mountain of hay to put them on the top? How does this work? This looks like absolute dick torture. And then this guy expects kids to come do it for free? Why? Why? Who? Why? What's wrong with kids these days? They don't want to come to some stranger's house and haul 60 pound hails of bay to, to the top of some barn. Gen Zers these days need to learn some respect. In search of a housekeeper who will accept payments in Mary Kay products. I need someone to clean my house every other week. PM me for details. For those who don't know, Mary Kay is an MLM, which, <laughs> which means this choosing beggar purchased, my guess would be, thousands of dollars of Mary Kay products. She can't sell them because that's how most MLM schemes work. And now she's trying to find some way to turn it into value by getting free labor for house cleaners, essentially. Selling desk for 10 bucks. I want it. Great, it's still available. Yay, how much? Free? I don't understand your message. It's free, right? Or 10 bucks? It's 10 bucks and you have to pick it up. I'll deliver, but for a fee depending on distance. Are you serious? Wow. Oh, well, I'm on 27th and Glendale. We can't take it apart, so I'll give you five more dollars to deliver. That's a 42 mile round trip for me, and it would cost me 10 bucks in fuel alone. Please pick it up for $10, or I'll deliver for $40. I understand that these options don't work for you. Thanks. I drove to Mesa to suck dick for 100 bucks before, so... That must have been a wonderful time, so good luck to you. <laughs> I don't understand why this choosing beggar is being so belligerent about this. Why doesn't she just go suck some guy's dick and then buy 10 desks? <laughs> I would have loved to have heard the phone call. Hey, are you the guy with the dick? Huh? You mean the desk? Oh yeah, right. The desk. I confuse you with this other guy. I really like the idea of using BJs as like a standard unit of measurement to determine how much things cost. If one BJ is 100 bucks, you could be like, man, that new video game looks awesome, but it costs half a BJ. That's pretty pricey. Or, man, a new computer costs $1,000? That's 10 BJs. I just don't have the appetite for that. That was r slash choosing beggars. And if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.